Got a three-part series for you today that we're gonna knock out. It's not gonna take a long time to get through, and being that it's a full body routine, you're gonna burn a lot of calories doing it, but I want you to push the pace. That being said, stop when you need to stop, but the goal is to get through as much of this as you can without having to stop at all. You're gonna need a kettlebell or a dumbbell, but nothing heavy, okay? A weight that's heavy enough to do the the, uh, the rows with is gonna to be too heavy to do the upright row with. And you'll see what I mean when we start. You're gonna do single arm kettlebell swing, but your feet have to stay together, okay? And I don't want you to hold it this way. I want you to hold it like this, like a hammer grip. You're gonna swing here. That's the rhythm. Squat and come up with it. My feet are close together. You're gonna to do 10 of those. As soon as you finish 10, you're gonna switch it over. You can switch your feet at this point if you need to, to go to a, do a shoulder with grip. Um, and just straight up, straight down. Single arm upright row, also for 10. As soon as you finish those, you're coming here, single arm, bent over row. Then you're gonna go right back into 10. 10 kettlebell swings, I'm sorry, gonna go down into nine. Nine kettlebell swings, nine upright rows, nine bent over rows, eight, seven, six, all the way down to one. You get to one, you're gonna do 50 sit-ups, and you're gonna start on the right side, 10 down to one. If you really wanna push it, you'll give yourself a five minute break, start at one and go back up to 10 on the left side, 50 more, uh, more sit-ups, and then one back up to 10 on the other side. Even if you do that full routine, it's not gonna take you more than 30 minutes to knock it out.